As we approach half term, I am delighted that the school remains open and operating properly. I must start by offering a warm thank you to the teachers for their extraordinary efforts, as well as all other staff for their outstanding work. It is great to be back in school, yet the revised arrangements this term have required so many colleagues to step up their efforts once again. I know that all of you watching will join me in thanking all those staff involved. A particular thank you to our cleaners who've been on overdrive throughout the school throughout the day, and also to our catering staff who have worked tirelessly to enhance our provision over the course of this half term. During difficult times, communities are forced to ask more of everyone in them, and I am so grateful for the goodwill from parents, students, and staff. Seven Oaks had a unique sense of community before this pandemic, and the strength of this is helping us to carry on now. And I'm confident that we will be stronger than ever when we come out on the other side. Of course, my first priority as headmaster is always the safety and welfare of the students and staff. And this remains in sharp focus in the midst of the pandemic. I am grateful to the students and the staff for behaving sensibly, following one-way systems, wearing face coverings, washing their hands regularly, and the pupils remain in their year group bubbles and all of us have been physical distancing. Buying our own testing machines has been a small victory in the course of this term. And this required extensive work with our insurers, with our school medical team, and with Public Health England in order to ensure that we had these devices installed and that we were ready to use them safely and effectively. We have already used the machines to great effect this term, helping us to test quickly symptomatic individuals. We are now participating in research led by a professor from the University of Cambridge about the use of point of care testing machines in schools like the Samba 2. Many schools, both locally and globally, face challenges, as do we, but we are doing our very best here at Seven Oaks to support the ongoing provision of a global, forward thinking, and inspiring education. Everyone has so enjoyed having students back on site and the teachers and students alike are delighted to be back in the classroom again. And every day students have agreed with me that it's wonderful to be back in school. I have been teaching year nine myself, which has been great fun. My love of working with young people is what led me to this profession and keeps me in it. The energy, enthusiasm, and positivity of our students is the most inspiring part of being here at Seven Oaks every day. I've also been enjoying observing a range of co-curricular activities and even getting involved myself on occasion. Competing with young, fit teenagers is a challenge, and there have been moments this half term when it seems that my backhand is still in lockdown. Nonetheless, it's been great to have a hit on a few different courts. The first 11 football team also let me join in their training on one occasion, but they won't be looking to sign me anytime soon. I was reminded that I did not make the top football side in my own school, and I'm still well off the pace these days. There is some great work taking place in the art room, which I've enjoyed visiting, and it's wonderful to hear music from the practice rooms in the space. And I know drama productions are underway as well. I've had so many moments walking around campus in the sunshine when things have almost felt normal, and it's great to be back. Over the course of this half term, I have reflected with many people that I moved to Seven Oaks for this job at a school that I've long admired, but I did not know the area that well. I've really enjoyed getting to know the town and I've been spotted in a number of restaurants and even in Waitrose more often than I would like to admit. My favorite aspect of living in Seven Oaks is certainly the extraordinary 1,000 acres of Knoll Park, which is immediately east of the school. I have run in Knoll Park almost every morning this term and I find that time at sunrise with the deer to be so helpful in setting me up for the day. The daily runs are my own version of mindfulness, a moment of stillness and reflection before another busy day. The main challenge I have encountered as I start this headship in COVID is how much it limits the opportunity to interact with other people in person. I've only met a handful of old Sanakians or parents, but I am grateful for the many messages of support and the warm welcome that I've received. I do look forward to connecting with our wider community in person when we are able to do so. I'm conscious that there may be difficult weeks ahead and I continue to encourage our staff and students to make the most of every lesson and every day whilst they're in school. Together, we will come through these challenging times. And in the meantime, we will continue to do everything that we can to support our students, our staff, and their families. 
One example of this is that we have dozens of boarders who will remain with us over half term in order to avoid quarantine and travel restrictions. I'm so impressed by the commitment that many of our overseas families have made to keeping their sons and daughters in education, even when it means being far away from home. I very much hope that you and your loved ones keep safe over half term and enjoy a well-deserved break. As a closing thought, every day this term, I've had my window here open and one of the unexpected joys of this office is that I hear laughter and catch segments of conversations of the students walking by, usually without them realizing it. I will miss that over the next fortnight, but I look forward to welcoming everyone back again in early November. Thank you, have a great half term.